In this video, we're going to be creating this menu system using Python and Pygame. We have these three buttons which change color when we hover over them. We have main menu here, and if we click on each of these buttons, we get to a different screen. So I'm going to be showing you how to use multiple screens in Pygame, and I'm also going to be showing you how to make this UI using a button class. And now let's get into the video. So before I explain how the code works, let's just go ahead and run this again. And we get the same thing. If we click on play, we get to play screen and the caption changes in the top left. If we go on options, the same thing happens. We get this is the option screen and the caption changes again. Obviously, play would normally be your game, but I didn't want to make that for this video, obviously. So it's just a placeholder. Now, if we press quit, we're obviously going to quit the program like we would normally. And yeah, that's basically it. Now we're going to tackle the question, how do you use multiple screens in Pygame? And fortunately, the answer to this question is super simple. To use multiple screens in Pygame, use multiple functions with their own game loops. So main menu here is the function that creates this menu system. Options creates this and play creates this. Under each of them, they have their own game loop that says while true. And all of their code is written inside of this game loop. Now, the trick I'm using here to give the player an illusion of different screens is I just fill the screen with black and then I put all of my stuff over that so the player doesn't know that I just covered up the previous stuff. If I were to remove screen.fill black and run my code again, now if we go to play, as you can see, we have all of our main menu stuff again. All I'm doing to give the viewer an illusion of a new screen is filling it with black. It's that simple. Let's go ahead and change it back to what it was before. So that's the question answered. That's how you use multiple screens in Pygame. Now, if you want to stick around and see how the UI was made, you can do that right now. So let's start out with main menu. The first thing we do in main menu is we set the caption of menu and then we have our game loop. And the first thing we do there is we put our background, which is this on the screen. Then we get the mouse position because we want to test if we're pressing a button or we're hovering over it. And we put the text main menu on the screen. Next, we create our three buttons using the button class. And this button class is actually something I made like eight months ago. I made a whole tutorial on how you can use buttons in Pygame is actually my most popular video. So you can go ahead and watch that right now. It's in the top right if you haven't watched it already. All the button class does is it first initializes its properties. Then it has an update screen, which just puts its image and its text on the screen. It has a check for input method, which checks if we're clicking on it. And it has a change color method, which checks if we're hovering over it. And if we are, then it changes the color to the desired color. So that's basically it for the button class. Now back to our main menu. The next thing we do is we cycle through every button we have and run the two methods. Finally, we cycle through every event that Pygame has and we check firstly if we've quit the game the traditional way, which is pressing the X button. If we have done that, then we quit Pygame and we exit sys. And then we check if we've clicked the mouse button. And if we have, then we check for every button. We check if we've clicked it. And if we have clicked it, for example, if we've clicked play, we run the play function. If we've clicked the options button, we run the options function. And if we click quit, we say the same thing as we did up here, just pygame.quit and sys.exit. Again, this is how you use multiple screens in Pygame. You just run the function that you want. Now, if we go ahead and check out the play function right here, once again, we have our game loop. We have a caption that says play and we fill the screen with black. We create our play text, we put it on the screen and then we create our back button and put that on the screen as well. We call change color and update on our back button. And we do the same thing with events. We check if we've quit the traditional way. If we have, then we quit the game. And we check if we're pressing the back button. If we are, then we call main menu again. And we do the same thing in main menu. The options function is basically the exact same thing as the play function, except the text is changed a little bit and the background color is also changed. We put the stuff on the screen. And if we've clicked the back button, we go back to main menu. So yeah, that's basically all there is to it. This was just a super quick tutorial on how you can use functions to use different screens in Pygame. If you found this helpful at all, consider liking. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to see more content like this in the future. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, have a good day.